slipping. What just happened? <laughs> Guys, welcome back to a new tutorial. My name is Claudius Fertesi and we are here today with James Gallatly. He came all the way from the UK to the US so we can help you learn Bido Cup on a scooter today. Step one. Safety first! Safety first! Safety first! Safety first. Nice. Always wear a helmet, whether you learn new tricks or just in general, having a helmet is always helpful. Buttercup is a more advanced scooter trick that will take more time to learn. What is a buttercup? A buttercup is a tail whip, bri flip, tail whip, combined in a fluent motion. It helps a lot if you can do already do a bri flip and a tail whip because that's what a buttercup consists of. If you can't tail whip or bri flip yet, I recommend watching my tail whip and my bri flip tutorial, which I will also link down in the description. In the description. In the description. In the, in, the, in the description. The most important thing about a buttercup is a fluent, highly energy efficient buttercup motion. And we will show you how to do that right now. What we always recommend when you learn a new trick is to always start with the arm motion on flat ground. Whenever I learn a new trick, I always go on flat ground first, practice the motion. A buttercup is a tail whip, bri flip, tail whip in one motion. So what you want to do is bri flip and then tail whip. And then you want to do these at the same time. Perfect. The key is to have the right amount of tail whip combined with bri flip. So you want to do a half tail whip and then start the bri flip. Do that. Nice. The best ratio ratio is to do a half tail whip and then fluently keep moving into a bri flip and then keep moving a tail whip. The hardest thing people struggle with is to have a fluent motion. If your tail whip in the buttercup is to the left, you have to turn your bars a little bit to the right at first. Perfect. It helps a lot if you practice the arm motion over and over again on flat ground before you go to the skate park. This will help you to have already a feeling of how the tricks feels. So make sure you really, really practice down the motion and motion over and over again on flat ground until you're comfortable with. All right, guys, do you think we should go to the skate park now? Yeah! Okay, let's get it. All right, guys, next step is you go to a quarter and go up the quarter, you do the buttercup motion and then land on the scooter. This will further help you get a feeling of how the trick works. And the hardest part, as we said, is to get the fluent one motion. The next step is to actually try the trick. Go find a quarter, like a medium-sized quarter, about four, five or six foot quarter that you're comfortable with air out the quarter and then just try to throw the buttercup a very important key aspect of the buttercup is to always keep going once you start the rotation keep going if you fall don't worry just get back up it's so slippy the most important thing to actually land the buttercup is to bring the scooter in front of you and to click your heels also spin the buttercup as close to your body as you can Bring the scooter in front of you, click your heels. Another very important aspect of buttercup is to have the right foot position. The best foot position is to have your feet parallel together on the back of your scooter. This is especially important so you can kick the scooter very efficiently. All right, guys, I hope these tips and tricks were helpful for you so you can learn a buttercup. Buttercup, as we said, is a more advanced scooter trick that will take a lot more time. For me personally, it took me quite a while. How long did it take you to learn buttercup? Four to five months. It took him four to five months. A couple more final tips. Whenever you learn a new trick, it's so important to commit. When you do a trick, you need to have the intention to actually land the trick. And another important tip is, before you actually do the trick, try to visualize the trick. So think of you doing the trick and visualize you landing the trick. Because if you can land the trick in your mind, it's way easier for your body to just do the trick. Like, in my opinion, the most important thing is really practice and drill the right motion on flat ground as much as you can and try to make it as smooth as you can. What do you think? Yeah. Once you get the arm motion and you go to a quarter, it's actually quite easy to just do it and then it's just like a thing of commitment and practice. Another important idea is practice together with your friends. It's so much more fun if you practice new tricks with friends who maybe can already do buttercup so you can see how they do it. It's just a big motivation to have someone to ride with them who can already buttercup and you see them do the trick over and over.
over again and just get tips from them. Practice with your friends. Be safe and have fun, guys. Scootering is about having fun. Buttercup is an awesome trick. It's very impressive to impress strangers who know nothing about scootering. Buttercup looks awesome. Follow our tips and you will be able to Buttercup very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Also, big shout out here to James Galatly. He came all the way from the UK to help me help you learn a Buttercup. Follow him on Instagram also right here. Follow him. Yeah, follow me. Thanks for watching, guys. Guys, was that helpful or no? Yeah! yeah! Thanks for watching. Drop a like if you want to see more tutorials. Comment down below if you have questions, right? Yeah. Get back to us. We help you. Go subscribe. Click the ring bell for post notification shout outs. And I'm going to see you soon. Bye. Yeah. Also, big shout out to Michael for helping me film this tutorial. Make sure oh. you follow him also on Instagram right here. Here. Right, right here. here. Awesome. Nice. In the description. In the description. In the description. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,